OSPF in Microtik Router OS version 6, Route Redistribution. So as a continuing video tutorial on our Microtik Basic OSPF video series, we will demonstrate one important feature which is Route Redistribution. Redistribution feature allows different routing protocols to exchange routing information making possible, for example, to redistribute static or connected routes into OSPF. As this is a Microtik tutorial, the devices FortiGate and Cisco have been pre-configured to redistribute routes. We will demonstrate on how to configure redistribution in our Microtik router. Let's verify from our Microtik router if our OSPF is still working properly. So we can go to routing OSPF and let's go to neighbors tab. And yes, we do have our Cisco router as our neighbor and our FortiGate firewall as also our neighbor. Let's also verify if our neighbor routers, FortiGate and Cisco, share their routes. So we can go to IP routes. And yes, we have our DAO or Dynamic Active OSPF route, which is the loopback IP of Cisco. This is the loopback IP of our FortiGate. And as you notice, we have the internal network of the FortiGate, which is 192.168.100.0 slash 24. And we also have the internal network of our Cisco router, 192.168.200.0 slash 24. So by having these routes, what does it shows that our FortiGate and Cisco is already configured with redistribution so specifically it was configured to redistribute connected routes for example for FortiGate this is a connected route because the port 3 has a direct interface or an interface directly connected to the LAN which is 192.168.100.0 so in the case of FortiGate the port 3 has an interface IP of 192.168.100.1 this is also true with our Cisco router. So our Cisco OSPF configuration has been added with a redistribute connected command so that the Cisco will redistribute its connected route. So in this case, there is an Ethernet 0 slash 2 interface that is carrying an IP of 192.168.200.1 slash 24 such that this is connected to the LAN 2 so a connected route and redistribute to the OSPF. So before we check or verify the current reachability of our LAN1 PC and LAN2 PC, we notice in our diagram that Microtik router has now an internet connection via Ether1 interface. So as you notice, there is a default route via this particular IP via Ether1. So this is just a plain DHCP client on our Ether1 interface. So 192.168.122 that something was being acquired by this interface. And we also configure to get or to add a default route. So that is why we have this particular default route in our main routing table in our Microtik. So we can check if indeed we have an internet connection. So we can go to tools ping and verify public IPs reachability. And yes, we are able to reach Google DNS. How about quad nines? And yes, we are able to reach. Let's try to reach public domain names. So let's try to do ping www.google.com and we are able to reach public domain name. So we are in the console or terminal settings for our LAN1 PC. So we notice that this particular PC has an IP address of 192.168.100.100 100, 
with the following gateway and DNS parameters. So let's verify its current reachability by doing a ping test. So let's try to see if it can reach its own gateway. And yes, there is a reply to the gateway. So let's try to reach the Mikrotik router. So ping, let's try 10.0.0.1. And yes, there is a reply on that particular IP address. And finally, how about internet sites? Okay, so it's unreachable at the moment. How about the server? So ping 192.168.0.5 and it is also currently unreachable. So in the case of LAN 1 PC, we're able to reach our own gateway and the 10.0.0.1. How about the LAN 2 PC IP? So in that case, it's 192.168.0.5. 200.100 and yes we are able to reach our LAN 2 PC so here in our LAN 2 PC terminal window let's do the same ping test to check its current reachability let's ping its own gateway 192.168.200.1 and yes it's reachable let's ping the other side so ping 192.168.200.1 100 at 100 that is to LAN 1 PC and yes it's reachable we'll try to ping our Mikrotik router at 10.0.0.1 and yes it's reachable how about from Cisco's LAN 2 PC going to this server 192.168.0.5 it's unreachable and let's do a ping it's unreachable to Google DNS and let's do a ping to triple W let's say google.com and it's also unreachable and cannot resolve triple W google.com so currently we notice that both of the PCs have no issue reaching one another so from LAN 1 to LAN 2 and LAN 2 to LAN 1 or vice versa however both of the PCs has issues with reaching the server network, our lone server, that is 192.168.0.5, and has issues reaching internet connection or internet sites. And we have now our work cut out and we will use redistribution feature to help solve this particular configuration task so that our LAN 1 PC and LAN 2 PC will be able to reach the server network and the internet. But before we continue and configure redistribution, so I would like to highlight or take note that on OSPF interfaces, we have added Ether 1 and Ether 3, but in this case, we configure them as passive interface. So passive interface because we are not expecting any OSPF router towards our internet network or internet or on Ether1. And we are also not expecting any OSPF router on our Ether3. So we are only expecting on Ether2 and we will not configure Ether1 and Ether3. So that is why Ether1 is configured passive and Ether3 is configured as a passive interface. All right, for our first solution attempt, let's settle first that our LAN PCs will be able to reach our server network. So our server network is currently connected on our Mikrotik router on Ether3. So let's verify that our Ether3 has a following IP address, 192.168. 0 0.1 we can do that by going to IP addresses and yes our Mikrotik router has an IP address of 192.168.0.1 slash 24 on Ether3 interface. Next we will verify if we are able to reach the server 01 if it indeed it's online 192.168.0.5 by doing a ping test tools ping and we will have this 
So, 192.168.0.5. Click start. And yes, indeed our server is there and online and it's alive because there is a reply. So, we will now configure the OSPF on our Microtik so that it will redistribute connected route. So, if we go to IP routes, so 192.168.0.0 slash 24 is a connected route, DAC. So, we can go to routing, OSPF, and to configure redistribution in Microtik Router OS version 6, it's found on the Instances tab. You double-click the default instance because we are running on the default instance. And as you can see, we have the redistribution settings in our Microtik device. Since we are redistributing connected routes only for now, for our solution attempt number one, so we will change the redistribute connected route from no to AS type 1 and AS type 2. Type 1 means that the OSPF metric is the sum of the internal OSPF cost and the external route cost. For type 2, the metric is equal only to the external route cost. So for this basic OSPF video tutorial, we are not yet concerned for those cost calculations. So we'll just select AS type 1 for now. Click apply, click OK. So ideally, we should check if there is now a new route from our Microtik going to the FortiGate and Cisco router. So let's assume that we don't have access to FortiGate and Cisco. So we can check by going to our LAN1 PC and straight away if we could ping the 192.168.0.5 server 01 PC. So ping 192.168.0.5 and yes, now there is a reply. Let's reconfirm if we still don't have any internet connection. So ping quadruple eight and it's still unreachable. So let's do a ping to triple w microtech.com and it still cannot resolve the domain name. Let's also check on our LAN2 PC that is connected behind the Cisco router. Let's do a ping 192.168.0.5 and yes, we are able to reach now the server network. How about our internet connection? It's still unreachable for the time being and we will now attempt to help solve the issue in our Microtik router in a moment. So problem number one solve, our LAN PCs are able to reach the server network. So the remaining problem is our LAN PCs are unable to go to the internet so it cannot reach public IP addresses such as Google IP addresses. So let's try to solve it by doing redistribution. But before we redistribute our default route or our route towards the internet, I want to take note that on our FortiGate and our Cisco router, we are not doing any network address translation or NAT. The NAT is only on our Microtik router such that there is IP firewall NAT. We have a simple source NAT out on the Ether1 interface with the action masquerade. So now, let's do a redistribute of default route. So as you notice, we have an internet connection via Ether1. If we go to IP routes, we have a default route, dynamic active static route, so in Microtik. So we have a default route going to 192.168.122.1. This is the route that we want to share to our FortiGate and Cisco LAN users. So still the same, we go to Routing, OSPF, then we go to Instances tab and double click the default instance and we go to the Redistribute Default Route. 
So we will change the setting from never or the default is never, redistribute default route never. And we have four options, always as type 1, always as type 2, if installed as type 1 and if installed as type 2. For our demo, let's just choose if installed as type 1 and click apply, click OK. So what it means is please redistribute also a default route if that particular default route is installed. So as you notice, we have it installed here. So it should redistribute on our FortiGate and Cisco OSPF neighbors. In turn, hopefully our LAN users will be able to use that particular default route. So now back on our LAN 1 PC, let's check if we are able to reach the internet, ping, quadruple 8, and yes, this time there is now a reply, let's do a ping to Google, and yes, it's able to resolve, and let's do a ping to another domain name, so microtech.com. And yes, it's able to resolve and we are able to reach microtech.com. Let's do the same final verification on our LAN 2 PC. So ping quadruple 8. And yes, there is now a reply. So let's do a ping triple W. Let's do a microtech.com this time. And yes, microtech.com is resolved. And for final test, triple w, google.com. And yes, google.com is able to resolve and we are able to reach triple w, google.com.